right. We left off with joining a cult last time, as one does. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what that did for me. But I think I'm done here. I think we're going to go finish exploring the rest of Gecko, and then we need to head back to Vault City to try and convince them to help us get the, the triple whatever something, some kind of hydromagneto something or other in order to stop the reactor from going kablooey. Uh, and I get the sensation that if I ask uh, Lynette that I'm not going to get much help out of her. So I might need to ask somebody else. There was somebody who kind of seemed more McClure, I think the name was. I guess we'll see. A very glum looking human. Well, hello there. Ever notice that each Brahmin has its own personality? Well, if you watch them as long as I have, you sure notice. Uh, okay, what do you do here? Well, I guard the Brahmin or help Skeeter in his workshop. Oh, who's Skeeter? Well, Skeeter's sort of a mechanic. He'll take apart almost anything that you bring him. Gets most of them back together, too, sooner or later. Sometimes things end up working better than they did before. Okay, where can I find him? Well, he's right here. Just open your eyes and look around a bit. Sheesh! Okay. Where is Skeeter? There's somebody else here, or are you Skeeter? So who are you? Well, my real name's John, but everyone here just calls me Lumpy. Why Lumpy? Well, it's sort of a joke. You see, they usually call people like you and me smooth skins, but I was treated so poorly by other smooth skins down in Vault City that everyone here just figured I must be more Lumpy than they are. Why were you treated poorly? Well, they said I wasn't human enough for them. I'm sort of radiation resistant. Perfect for here, but they didn't like it. Treated me like dirt. Really? So one day I just couldn't take it anymore, and I figured that dying out in the wastes was better than living with those assholes in Vault City. How'd you end up here? Well, a caravan from, caravan from Broken Hills found me and brought me here. I've been here ever since. One thing about the ghouls here is that they care more about what kind of person you are inside. It's like a big family. That's pretty nice. Let me ask you something else. Who is Skeeter? Sort of mechanic. Uh, okay, that's... Nothing new. What's all that junk in the yard? Well, some of this junk is left over from when they were building the reactor before the war. The rest of this stuff, I just don't know. Skeeter collects all kinds of stuff. Okay, I don't know who Skeeter is. Unless he's here and I'm just blind. Leak, I don't need to talk to you. Try to talk to Lumpy here. I am curious about some things. Anything unusual going on? Well, I mostly stick to my business, but sometimes I think I hear things late at night. Like what? I can't tell you. People would think I'm nuts. Probably just the wind blowing through the junk anyway. Okay. Aw, oh, come on. Uh, you can tell me what you heard. I won't tell anybody. I'm not sure, mind you, but I think I've heard people, at least I thought it was people, coming and going from the reactor pit late at night. People. Every night. Well, I don't know if they were people or what, but usually it's just a couple of nights. It always says coming and going from the reactor pit. I don't know what's going on, and I don't want to know either. Guess I can't blame you. I wonder if that's the cult or not. Okay. Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. Sorry, Cassidy. In my way. Oh, is that Skeeter in there? Oh, great. You've got my plasma regulator. Thanks. Now I owe you some free work. What do you want me to work on? I'll tell you how much it would cost, but this one's already paid for. Uh, let me see what you can work on.
Did he take the regulator that I had? I needed something for the car. I don't know if that's what I needed for the car. You have a battery that I could use to fix a car. Well, funny you should ask that. You see, cars use replaceable fuel cells or batteries for fuel. We usually broke down was the fuel cell controller. Most amateur mechanics just assume uh, that it's the battery itself. But you know what assuming things does, don't you? Oh, so does that mean you have a fuel cell controller? Yep, sure do. Got it right here. Just waiting for a car to be put into. You got a car? Okay, um... I know where one is. What's it going to cost to get me that fuel cell controller? Well, money's nice, but I need something else right now. Something I can't get for myself. What do you need? These days, good tools is harder to get than parts is. I need myself a brand new super toolkit. Sna snaps. Snap something brand's best. New toolkit. Where can I get that? Well, I reckon that the best place to go and get that would be down in Vault City somewhere. So they've got all kinds of tools, but they sure as heck wouldn't give them to a ghoul know how. You want me to get you a super toolkit and then you'll give me the car part. Exactly, that's the deal. One super toolkit for one fuel cell controller. Okay. Uh, do you have a... This person will not barter. I can't barter with them. Okay. Do you have something called a Garden of Eden creation kit? Oh, you're looking for a Gek, huh? Well, I don't really know where you might find one of them. There are things. I know Vault City probably used to have themselves one. Oh, they did have one. They sure did. That's how come they're so darn well off. Sure ain't because they know what to do, it's because the Gek done started up their crops and got their town running when they came out of the vault. So who would have an unused Gek? Let me see here now. As I re recollect, most vaults were supposed to have themselves a Gek. You might try looking for another vault somewhere. Okay. I have some things here that I want you to take a look at. You bolt an accessory to this long arm here. Steadies your long arm and nods slowly. Nothing like having an assault rifle and expanded magazine. I can fix yours up one with one for free. Uh, let me ask you about something else. I don't know if I want my my rifle to be the gun that gets modified. So what do you do here? Mostly, I just sort of tinker with things, take them apart, and try and put them back together. Mostly, make them work better. Sometimes, keep myself out of trouble. Know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Nothing in there. Okay, we got a tool. I think that's one of the tools I needed for the lady in Vault City. Sledgehammer. And a crowbar. But I need a wrench. I don't know if I've ever even seen a wrench in this game. Maybe I have. Maybe I've seen one as a weapon before. Electronics. I'm gonna need to take the time to read some of these books soon. Thing in that bookshelf, there's two lockers here. Lockpicks. Well, that's useful. I wonder if those are reusable or not. of locksmith tools includes all the necessary picks and tension wrenchers and so open conventional pin and tumbler locks it weighs one pound I guess I'll give it a try next time I find something that's locked where are you I see you have the symbol are you here for information of course I will the symbol proudly and I need information right away I'm sure I'm assuming you're talking about the onk well here it is but don't let the wrong person know that you have it. 
Give it only to Councilman McClure in Vault City. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, renew, brother. All right, we've got a Gecko Hollow Disk. Can I read it? That's nothing. Okay. Oh wait, I need to loot. Oh, more tragic cards. There's a locker here. With cheesy poofs. I don't like that noise. Okay, so there was somebody saying that there's like noise skeeter or no lumpy was saying that there's noises that come from the reactor pit late at night. But I don't know if that's the renew renew cult or not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until night. And if anything happens, then I'll explore it. Otherwise I'll probably just reload the save. Let me try leaving and coming back. Who are you? Hello, friend. Did you find Woody yet? Got it. I'm with Woody. Hey, thanks for the follow, Colding. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. You have 14 millimeter AP. Isn't that the weapon for my my assault rifle? I have a wrench. Wow, you have a lot of money. Why do you have so much? Okay. Easy poofs. Keeping my lock picks and my book. Up there. I gotta keep my onk, of course. Hello there. Hello there. Show me what you got. I I've got money I'm trying to I'm trying to pay <laughs> trying to see what I can get from this man what is this beer don't think I need the beer need the junk rock flower keeping my day pass my first aid kit and all my ammo that's all important stuff don't need this stuff either Okay, that's 465. How much is one set of ammo? Oh, sweet. I can get all that ammo. Voice modulator? Do I have my... Is my thing on? Has it been on this whole... No, it's off. I think it's off. Oh, something, something. Oh, there we go. There's my game. Why does my voice sound funky? Got me paranoid now. Oh, I gotta sit here and put all my junk on here again. Oh, it's an item in Fallout 2. Uh I I don't think I found one yet. I'm still I still don't know a whole lot about everything that goes on in this game. I just kind of go with it, see what works. I think that's everything that I had offered. That's a gecko hollow disc that I have there. So get all that ammo. That's 300 and he still owes me 165. Get that in, you know, the form of money. I got some more ammo. All right, let me try going back now that it's night. But somebody was saying that there's happening at the 
reactor pit. My guess is it's probably... You can do it! <laughs> right now I know that they're looking for the, the vault. Or the... the... the geck. I'm trying to find a geck. But apparently the vault that I found at Vault City has already used their geck. So now they said that Vault 13, the one that my ancestor came from, has two gecks. But we don't know where Vault 13 is, so we're kind of looking for it. But there's a computer in the Vault City vault that should tell us where Vault 13 is. Okay, I'm not seeing anything happening here. That's where we're at. And in order to get to that computer in Vault 13, or the, the Vault City vault, I need to become a citizen of Vault City. And the, f the leader of Vault City said that she would acknowledge me as a citizen if I can stop the, uh, the reactor from leaking into the groundwater. Anyway, I have no idea where I don't know what this voice where this voice modulator is. I've heard no no talk of it so far. Yeah, she seems kind of mean. I had to re I had to re uh, reload the save a couple times talking to her because I did not say the right thing. She's very temperamental. All right, but for now, let me save. And then we'll, we're going to head back to Vault City because we need a few things from them. But we need some tools. We're also looking for... Um, Woody was his name? Do I have... Is there a place where I can see, like, my... Uh... Like, my quests? that I have a boy status. Okay, actually, maybe. Gecko. Find Woody the Ghoul, try the den. Okay, yeah, no, cool. Solve the gecko power plant problem, get a super repair kit, find Woody. Get a plow, solve the power problem, plant problem, rescue Joshua, deliver pliers and a wrench. I don't have a wrench. I don't know where I'm gonna get a wrench. I can afford to buy the plow now, though. It's 800 caps, and I have 1,200. Let's see, do you have anything worth buying? You have a wrench, perhaps? Leather armor mark two and metal armor. How much is are you going? Twenty two hundred for the metal armor? I don't know what's better between leather armor mark two. The metal armor is worth more. I don't know if there's any like if the weight of it is a kind of factor or something. Either way, let's buy the plow, I guess. Still so selling the plow. 600! Okay, fine. Yeah, I'll take it. It's yours. You just need to take it or you need it delivered. Drop it off with the smiths. No problem. I'll have it dropped off right now. How prompt. Appreciate it. That was a big chunk of my money and there's no promise of any real return for this. I'm just being a nice guy. Thank you kindly. Here's a little something my pa gave me before he left this world. With the guards protecting us, we don't need it, but you might be able to make some use of it. Hey, what is it? Oh, we got a uh, Desert Eagle. I guess $800 for a Desert Eagle is pretty good. I don't think I have any. Do I have Magnum ammo, actually? That's 5mm. Oh, that's 44 Magnum AHP. And this takes 44. Okay, I do have Magnum ammo. Okay. So I could, I couldn't try, I can try using this for a bit. Let 
Okay. Now I need to wait until morning in order to get inside of Vault City because they won't let me in at night. So. How do I wait? Z, right? Can't rest here. Can you? That way, I'll walk over here and I'll rest over here. Rest until morning. And now we go back. Still don't know where to get a wrench. Glad that my day pass works for more than one day. Are you selling a wrench? You got a crowbar. That's probably something I gave you. You have pliers. I also probably gave you that. And then somebody being rude about how they don't want to sell to me, but they're going to anyway. Okay, what do you have in stock? Do you have a wrench? You got a bunch of meds, medication, which is nice. And then probably a bunch of junk that I gave him. Because I need the the wrench for this lady here. Uh... Okay, can I actually barter with you? Person will not barter, okay. They will not barter with me. Damn. Okay, will you barter with me? I'm only authorized to do transactions with citizens, okay. She needs, she needs requisite, she needs requisite. Okay, I don't know where to get a wrench. I'll have to keep an eye. I keep my eyes out. I probably had a wrench at some point in the past, but sold it for some quick money. I also need to rescue Joshua, but I thought that my chances of rec rescuing him would be better after I've become a citizen rather than now because everybody's looking down upon me. Being shamed for my status. So, I need a Hydro Magneto, whatever the, whatever the heck it's called, and I can either ask her or I can ask McClure. And I want to ask McClure because McClure's nicer. <laughs> Lynette's kind of mean. Let's go. And I needed to give, deliver something to McClure anyway. Who are you? It's Narg. It's, I'm, it's nice to meet you. Oh, how do I give you the thing? I think you might have a part that could fix Gecko's power plant. What do you mean? If I had a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, I could make their plant run clean. Well, that's an acceptable solution. Stopping the radiation poisoning is all I care about. Uh, I am worried that Lynette will withhold my citizenship if I fix the plant. If you fix their plant, I will give you citizenship and there's not a damn thing she can do about it. Excellent. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Where can I get it? Go see Randall, the chief amenities officer. He should have the part in stock. Okay. There's one other thing. You might find this economic data disk interesting. I'm sorry, an economic data disk? What do you mean? Uh, It's an economic data disk that shows the amount of energy that Gecko's atomic power plant produced before the war that it could produce again. I see. What does this have to do with me? Well, as I understand it, Vault City's power generator can only support so many people. In fact, it's already nearing its limit. I'm not going to ask you how you came by that information, but if it were true, what are you proposing? 
Once the gecko power plant is fixed, the disk indicates it's possible it could produce enough energy for Vault City 2. Looks like the reactor would need to be optimized first, though. Are you suggesting that we seize Gecko and take their power plant? I will not. No, no. It. If Gecko could receive the optimization data for their plant, I'm betting they'd be willing to trade their excess power for medical assistance. Aha! We're being nice. Hmm. As far as medical assistance goes, I'm not unsympathetic uh, to the point of the to the plight of the ghouls. They have certainly suffered enough. But how would we optimize their plant? I don't know. Maybe there's someone I can talk to once the plant is repaired. I have no objections to your proposal. You can find some means of optimizing the plant, let me know. Okay, I'll go talk. I'll get that part from Randall and see about repairing the reactor first. I'll keep the economic data disk and study it some more. Perhaps I can persuade the council to enter negotiations with Gecko to trade for their power. The data disk would be a strong argument in and of itself. I appreciate it. Was that the, the, the disk? I think that was the disk, okay. Uh, can I ask you some questions? The Garden Eden Creation Kick. Supposed to have two. Okay, I already knew. Okay, so now we need to go talk to the amenities officer who... I don't know if he'll actually fully trade with me now or if he's going to just only give me the hydro electric magnetosphere regulator. Like, let me, let me go. <laughs> But I need super tools in order to get the the car thing, and I don't know where to get super tools. Maybe this lady will give me super tools. Hello there. Uh, what is this place? Councillor McClure said you'd have a hydro magneto thingy that I could have for the gecko. Why are you why are you unsure of the name now? You said the name perfectly to McClure. Yeah, he said you'd be stopping by. Narg, right? Wait one minute, and I'll get you the hydroelectric magneto, uh, the high mag. All right. Okay, here you go. One high mag. Kind of looks like a lava lamp, doesn't it? Oh, don't drop it. It's pretty fragile. What else do you have in stock? Uh, okay, fine. He won't trade me anything else. All right, we have the high mag. I guess we're done here. We need a wrench and we need a super toolkit. I don't know where I'm going to get either of these things. I'm trying to see if there's anywhere else that I might. Still never, there's something over in the bar that I never picked up. Go to get that. Hi, and welcome to the Vault City, the best city in New California. I'm Steve, how can I help you? What do you mean by the best? Uh, he looks at the pamphlet in his hand. Oh, you weren't supposed to ask that. There's no answer for that in here. Okay, do you know anything? If the Outworlder, that must be you, insults you, that must be me, then refer them to the chief greeting officer, um, to refer you to Melinda, the chief greeting officer. Okay, I'll go talk to her. Melinda? I don't think you've seen you around before. Who are you? I'm Melinda. Okay, sounds like a tough job. My work benefits Vault City, and I have the privilege of being able to talk to outsiders about the grandeur of the city. It has to be a little boring sometimes. Well, I take great pride in the work I do for Vault City. You'll have to excuse me, but I have very pressing business to attend to. Good day. Okay, you're boring. You're the boring one. <laughs> right, let's head into the bar, pick up... It looks like a book. I think it's over inside the actual... No, where... Where is it behind the bar? It might be behind the bar. Aha. Mr. Dixon? It's a doll of... A small doll with a big red nose. For some reason, you would trust this seemingly innocent child's toy. Okay. I picked up a creepy doll. Nice. I thought it was a book.
Okay. 